everybody remember me <laughs> well um back i guess it, now this is the second time i'm doing this for whatever reason my editing software decided to shit the bed so i'm doing this as a simple obs video so yeah that's that but with that being said this is my first video since i want to say early to mid november of last year and a lot of stuff has happened around the world since then globally pandemic black lives matter and now the speaking out movement it's a crazy world we live in that's just not what we're here to talk about today um here to show off a little collection of late now as i said this is the first video since mid early to mid november and i haven't picked up all that much actually having been eight months or so i picked up more in the last two months of the year than i've done here in 2020 so my first stack is stuff i picked up in 2019 and then after that we'll move on to my 2020 stack and you'll see that i really haven't spent all that much money on movies now thankfully uh even though we've been dealing with this pandemic the fact that i work at a supermarket means that i was quite lucky for once to keep my job and still have it so i've had money coming in and instead of buying a bunch of movies that i never really watch i decided to start building a new computer my old computer was close to 11 years old and it was a budget pc even back then so it was time to upgrade so i'm in the progress of building my new computer it's up and running but it can get better and that's where i'm putting in my fun money right now or most of my fun money so yeah as i said i won't be showing off that many new movies that i picked up but i looked through my collection found the movies i remember never having shown off before i went on hiatus so with that being said let's go into my 2019 movies i never showed off <laughs> so first up picked up terra train from 88 films clip cover jamie lee curtis never got the scream factory edition so decided to get this one and in this case this is number 41 and thankfully i never fell into that trap of having to get all those numbers that's quite impossible today almost some of the older ones are long out of print also from 88 films the protector jackie chen as you'll see um, a lot of the stuff i picked up is smaller companies 88 films arrow eureka 101 films uh second sight i guess mm, no scream factory this time around but yeah i i just don't feel the need to keep buying all those movies just to put them in the collection and you will see that i have like i said i, I didn't pick up many also from 88 miracles Jackie Chan and whilst most of these are unpacked never actually watched it well I've seen most of the movies but never played these editions 88 films Anaconda collection like I said this is not new stuff probably not to you guys so i'm just gonna quickly go off not go too in depth stuff like that 
how this i wasn't originally gonna pick this up but it, they started announcing that they had almost sold out and this was a limited edition they said that they re-released the first one i don't know if they're gonna do that with the rest i just f it and got it <laughs> next up from 101 films black label number 10 Gina. as you can see i still have the plastic around but I, I did open it on the side here i just kept the plastic around to hopefully protect the case a little bit i need to find i maybe maybe there's some steelbook protectors that's big enough for these box sets to need to get around to finding the see if there's a size that fits yeah Number 10. <clears throat> Don't fall down. Number 11. 101 Films Black Label. Prom Night. Leslie Nilsson. Jamie Lee Curtis. Also just opened on the side. And they're quite stuck in the cases. <laughs> But it, it is just same artwork, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on them either. From Arrow Video, picked up Big Trouble in Little China. Now I did have the savvy re-released Steelbook. Yeah, uh, I, I guess this might come as a shock to some of my viewers. <laughs> I sold some of my Steelbooks. <laughs> and Big Trouble in China was one of them so I just decided to pick up the standard edition and, and this came out way before I knew of Arrow I think I have no idea if there was ever a limited edition of this I guess there was I... same case here Hills of Eyes sold the steelbook got the regular edition now this one i kind of wish i could have gotten in the limited edition because i got the second one in limited edition and i actually don't know or remember if i ever showed that off so i'm looking up on my collection <laughs> so yeah i have the second one too also from Arrow, To Live and Die in LA. Now, this one is a really good movie. I'm so happy that I took my time looking through Arrow's site on the sale they had at that time. Because I never knew they had this movie. They had this artwork up on the main site. And I, I did not paying close eye to the title i never knew this was this movie but yeah thankfully i found out they had it they've done that a couple of times animal factory was another movie they have where they put up the new alternate artwork so i didn't recognize that either for the longest time but thankfully now i have both and i'm using the old artwork also from Arrow, Exorcist, nice slip cover. Exorcist 3, rather. Seen the movie, never seen this edition, haven't gotten around to it, which will be the major reason behind not buying that many movies. <laughs> Vengeance Trilogy, also from Arrow. Now, this is the re release. I did have the original limited edition on pre-order, but in my case, I'm going to say I was lucky enough to cancel it because the limited edition set was the elevator from Old Boy. And had it just been Old Boy, I would have wanted that limited edition. But with this being the entire trilogy, I really wanted same camera i really wanted 
uh, different artwork as I drop one. Yeah, so just that. Vengeance trilogy. Next up, more arrow. Sartana, complete Sartana. Arrow sale. Never seen any of the movies that I know of. But it came back after having gone out of. I, I believe there were some problems with this set, much like Django. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Anyway, I bought the re-release as it came on sale, and again, six months later or eight months later, still haven't watched any of them. Just bought it. Put it in my collection and forgot about it. Getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning and getting home 5 in the afternoon. Going to bed between 9 and 10. Doesn't leave many hours in the day to watch everything. So, yeah, I'm so behind on everything. So, I just decided why keep buying it all a fistful of dynamite Sergio Leone's last western I love my Sergio western movies man with no name trilogy and my favorite once upon a time the west I love that movie so of course I had to get this one too let's see fistful of dynamite or duck you sucker it's a good movie but I'll take, gladly take the other movies over this if I had to pick. Once Upon a Time in the West is just such a good movie. And there we do. And then from Second Sight, I picked up the MRA, or I found this used at a local store. So I was missing the first one. I have two and three from other companies. I, for the longest time, I did want the Arrow version of this movie, but because there's two cuts of the movie, the second cut was only in the limited edition from Arrow, and that goes for quite a hefty price now. So I decided to second sight was good enough. And... I could have bought this in the steel book, but this was just too cheap to pass up on. So at least now I have the trilogy. And then through Media Psychos, picked up this big boy, Wandering Earth. It's a Chinese, big budget Chinese sci fi movie, in case you don't know it. It's on Netflix in Europe. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But it's, like I said, it's big budget sci-fi cheesiness. And it's so out there that you'll laugh at it. But <laughs> I have it being Wu Jing that's in the lead, I just wanted it. But yeah, see this, this thick ass booklet, all Chinese that I can't read. And another booklet, more Chinese with some pictures. And it's upside the head. Yeah, you get the point. And then MRA. Yeah, sorry about the glare. I have to record this in later in the evening just because it's too damn hot to do earlier in the day so let's put that back in there and then for the last batch of 2019 stack steelbooks picked up Red Heat Arnold Schwarzenegger, James Bellucci 4k edition from Savvy Simple, but I actually like it. 
had it just been plain flat i don't know if I like it as much but the fact that it's embossed like that kind of nice universal soldier 4k also from savvy so 4k great Van Damme movie picked up first terminator not the terminator steelbook i would have preferred getting but this came out around the time where i needed one <laughs> i guess i would have liked one where it would have been the original post artwork much like this one terminator 2 judgment day 4k from savvy and as you can see this is the post artwork and it's matte it, it's apparently glow in the dark i've never actually tested it out myself so I, I don't know but this was the two missing terminator steel books i needed well now there's dark fate i don't have that one either i, I don't know if i'll get that one or not. so that's the 2019 stuff i know i've never shown off before and that's november december let's do the 2020 stuff six months worth of movies i picked up 12 12 movies in six months two years two or three years ago that was a week's worth of updates for me <laughs> so so yeah massive dish difference first up 88 films mystery men you can see ill sealed i seem flat out decided if i'm not gonna watch it right away i'm just gonna keep it sealed because why not extra protection for the slip cover i guess 88 films heroes shed no tears john woo great war movie still sealed and especially if i've seen the movie before i'm not in a rush to watch them right away again dragons forever 88 films jackie chen still sealed seen it before Granted, some of these has alternate cuts of the movies that I know I've there's at least one of the cuts I've never seen before, but what are you gonna do? 88 films, Heart of Dragon, Jackie Chen, Ill Sealed. Uh, I, I've seen this movie before too. Again, different cut that I haven't seen don't remember the best things about this one and don't hear the best things about this one so not really in a rush 88 films i'm off guard 2 operation condor jackie chen ill seals granted i've only had this like a week or so so this is pretty much the newest edition i ha or release i have right now yeah, still sealed. Great movie. It's a shame that 88 films apparently can't get the rights to the first one. But that's what I'm assuming since they put out the second one before the first one. Next one, 101 films, Black Label, number 12. Phase 4. No idea about this movie. Never seen it never heard of it before and as you can see it's still sealed uh, i bought it because yeah, i'm the damn number on the spine can't not have the collection complete now that i've started so yeah don't know much about it apparently it's giant ants attacking the world and who knows 
Maybe I'll get around to it eventually. 101 films, Black Label number 13. Dreamers. Still seals. No, wait, th this might actually be the newest one that came in. This, this uh, Operation Condor and this one I've only had about a week or so. So, yeah, those two are pretty new. But this one, I actually did want. I was really looking forward to getting this one when they first announced it. Dream Factory put this out, I want to say a year or two ago. And. I never got around to getting it. I it was a standard edition, no rush to get it because there, it was not collector's edition with limited slip cover or anything. So I was just okay. I'll get that down the line. But thankfully, we got it here in Europe too, from 101 now. So I do wanna watch it this movie relatively soon. I I'll watch it again rather. From Eureka, two warriors from the Magic Mountain, epic sci-fi fantasy kung fu flick. You can pretty much toss it under any of those categories. Again, still sealed. I've seen it before. Great movie if you like that fantasy style kung fu movies. Yeah. And I do. And then final, the final MRA edition for this time. Avengers Age of Ultron 4K edition. I needed the 4K disc to put in my heavy exclusive lenticular edition. Back when they put those out bef without 4K discs and with 3D discs. So yeah, I just needed the 4K disc to replace the 3D disc. There's that. <laughs> and then finally, the new steelbook. Steelbooks, rather. First one, Bad Boys for Life. Great movie. I waited years and years and years for this to come out. Um, I'm a big Bad Boys fan. And it's a good movie. I like the movie quite a bit. It's still my number one of the year. And it's not like that's saying much this year, but <laughs> yeah, it is. I like the movie. But I wish they would have made a sequel like 10 years ago. And then this having been the fourth one and ending it there. I know the title. Could have been for life but that forget that i i just feel like this should have been the end of it but just having another action-packed version in between two and four <laughs> but yeah great movie a little disappointed with the steel book though it looks really bland compared to the steel books for one and two the steelbook for Bad Boys 2 is more glossy, so this one looks a little plain, bland, whatever you want to say. So maybe had this been glossy, it would have looked better. Then from Germany, picked up Punisher Warzone. I can stop the glare. One of the remaining movies from Marvel that never had a steel book before now. He's still still sealed. I'm not in a rush to open this one. I plan on getting the 4K and putting that in here eventually. But yeah, I needed this one for my Marvel wall. So now I'm one Marvel movie closer to having at least one edition of all the Marvel movies. And then finally, the last steel book in this go around another Marvel movie I needed for my Marvel wall. <laughs> Howard the Duck. Yeah, I bought the Savvy D box or whatever it's called just to get this. Even though I do have the 101 Films Black Label edition of this. 
I again still sealed and for that exact reason that I already have the other edition I'm not opening this but I just needed this for my marble wall so that's that now we just need fantastic four rise of the silver surfer and main thing I want to say it's called yeah I, I think that's the only two I don't care about the old Captain Ma or not Captain Ma Captain America movies and stuff like that so there you have it my small collection update like I said six months worth 12 movies I don't know when my next video will be but in the meantime you could always come over on Twitch and see me play a little here and there when I have the time so with that being said catch you next time i guess peace out